Making up something of a power panel on stage, LinkedIn joined forces with executives from Microsoft and the Chinese e-commerce retail and technology conglomerate Alibaba to discuss how AI had the potential to transform decision-making in major sectors in the years ahead. Alibaba's chief machine intelligence scientist, Wan Li Min, also explored how emerging technologies like autonomous vehicles and building smart cities could meet the demands of swelling populations. One of his AI-driven visions for future urbanism is Alibaba's CityBrain project, a cloud geared towards streaming traffic, detecting accidents and improving transport efficiency. Alibaba has an estimated market value of more than $400 billion, and Min was attending Jitex ahead of the company reporting its quarterly results. He sat down with Inspire to talk about the numbers and discuss how best to encourage new tech entrepreneurs around the world. He began by speaking about Alibaba's city brain technology, which, following its rollout in Asia, could find its way to the Middle East. A very warm welcome to Euronews. Okay, thank you so much for having me. Tell me, what's the key takeaway when it comes to Alibaba's cloud city? It's more than just cloud. Say, for instance, like the city brain, so we manage to reduce the traffic jam at Hangzhou, Suzhou, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Chongqing, including Macau and Kuala Lumpur, which reduce of the travel time in the commute commuters, okay, and reduce the congestion index for the city wide. This has particular importance when it comes to ambulances, the emergency exactly. services. Yes. Tell me how. Yeah, so because for the ambulance is a time critical mission. Okay, especially in China, big cities, very often ambulance get stuck in the traffic jam. If I understand, this means you're changing the traffic lights to green. Yes, the key point is you have to do this calculation and synchronize the result with the control system within a second. How realistic is it for you to copy and paste and bring this model here to the Middle East? So I will reasonably optimistic say maybe three months. And how much would it cost the government in terms of expenditure? What would they need to put aside to have this kind of smart technology? First of all, it's much cheaper than your hardware investment, like the physical infrastructure of the sensors, okay? Because it's a pure soft solution based on the data you already have. So by that, you will calculate, okay, how much calculation power you need. Now, Alibaba's Jack Ma, he's keen to open up um, an institute for tech entrepreneurs in Indonesia. Is that something that we might find coming to the Middle East? We have another uh, platform, it's called Tianqi. Tianqi platform is essentially trying to empower the young generation with this platform, with the data, big data capability. So I believe that's the platform we want to introduce right now, right away, because it's already mature enough with the overseas market and also it's proven effective. Alibaba will report quarterly numbers in the coming weeks. Some analysts are saying that investment spending could negatively impact the results. Are they right? Any investment is for an investment to the future. So if you are really focused about short-term impact, probably you wouldn't care too much about future. But I, I believe every investor will looking beyond the current uh, short game, short-term game, rather they focus on the future. So I will say that we, if we invest more, that means we will have a brighter future. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for your time today. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye.